the rock of all the mud. That eagle's nest. Earthy, do you think it's still there? You think people can still get to the castle there? Mm. Sure. <clears throat> yeah. Um, the castle of Hashishan still stands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. South of the Elbers Mountains. Yeah. The Caspian Sea. And God's Van, yeah, thriving town along the main road, a few hours outside of Tehran. Sure, God's Van's still there. Mm -hmm. Along the trail of Hashishan, renamed by us hippies, the Hashish Trail from Istanbul to Kathmandu. Yeah. Um, but how would you get there? I mean, that was such a remote, rugged. Uh, yeah, you could rent a four-wheel drive Jeep in Gazvin mm -hmm. and uh, get a guide, too. Huh? <clears throat> 102 kilometers north over the Shala Pass, 2,400 feet. You've got the book, so just, you know you know right where uh, I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And uh, you end up again in the town of Shustakhan where the four muleteers of Karamabad had their trading post. <sighs> Eleven centuries ago? Yeah. Uh, and where the Alamut and Kaiser Khan rivers come together. Of course. Uh, well, you get to Shuzakhan, yeah, park your jeep, and then you got to look for a mule. That's right. You got to saddle up a mule. Like they did in ancient Persia. You get a local guide for that too. You go up three kilometers up the Kaiser Khan River. And then everybody sees who's transgender or not. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Red bearded descendants of Hashishan. Mm hmm. Assassins, huh? plow fields with black oxen along rushing rivers up there. Huh? And the women, uh, they cut hay with size, with huge size, without sighing. They're, they're tough. Backwoods chicks, okay? Uh, and, uh, well, let's talk history. History? Uh, let's talk some history for a, a few moments. Uh, the assassins trace their roots, their oldest roots, to the Shiite sect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the dominant sect in Persia, now called Iran, today. Yeah. Uh, where Hashish, historically, a uh, commonplace, but to the fundamentalist Shiite uh, hard liquor. Ah! The devil elixir of the crusaders. <laughs> uh, yeah, carefully observe. If your cataracts aren't too bad. Uh, <clears throat> and your meticular degeneration doesn't make everything look like a, a checkerboard on... <clears throat> Acid. Uh, yeah, let's see. <clears throat> the grinding tectonic plays. I've used this metaphor before. You know, like ill-fitting dentures grinding for centuries, just jawing at each other. Jawing? For what? Nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, those tectonic plates, huh? Uh, the Muslim has she seen grinding against the Western alcohol ocean of alcohol. Oof, yeah, uh, 
yeah, it's time to put those ill-fitting dentures in, in, in a jar of water for the night. Let's give it a rest. Let's all just... <sighs> you know what we need to do on planet Earth? We need to press the refresh button. Let's just all forgive each other for all our shit forever going back to when the first fish cl climbed out of the ocean and said, like, a lot of rock. Oh, the terrain this is. Let's just all just forgive each other and start over. Can't we just have a new day on planet Earth like right now? You know, have a swig of Perrier <laughs> between your hookah and your Don Perrier. Don Perrier. Between your Grand Marnet. Let's have a French liqueur. And a joint and make love <laughs> yeah uh, okay look ponder I'm not saying think that takes a lot of energy just kind of generally you ponder just kind of like wonder about it uh, that the spirit of the assassins has never And that rather than weld knives, they had to weld the rhino horn handles on them or they just fall off, cheap Baghdadi imports. Uh, yeah, welding knives. Uh, the modern killers uh, uh, set up roadside bombs. <laughs> yeah, and wear explosive vests. I mean, anything to get some attention, I guess. Uh, uh, jingoists, jihadist, propaganda, brainwashes, impressionable men and women to believe that they will uh, never really die, rather, as martyrs for their twisted <laughs> interpretation of their faith. Uh, they will ascend to a pleasure garden. Does that sound familiar? Ascend to a pleasure garden? They're still using Hashishan's tricks on people? And what's up at the pleasure garden? Succulent seedless grapes from God's Vin. And uh, hot available <clears throat> human bodies to make love with virgins everywhere waiting to be deflowered. Ah, yeah, uh, and the modern Islamic fundamentalist assassins are, are beyond mere cutthroat jackals. Yeah, now what do they do? Ah. They sever the whole head. Well, ponder also that the spirit of the Christian Crusaders never died either, did it? Mm -hmm. Fundamentalist Christian, Christian Crusaders marching off to war to defend what? Middle Eastern holy wars and oil? Strip down alcohol heads, uh, these Westerners are. Strip down. You're just like hardcore, high-tech killers. Oh, there they go, in a car. Drone their ass. <laughs> Who cares if the back seat's full of kids? <laughs> uh, what? Uh, do Western governments understand fundamentalist uh, Islamic militias? like uh, any better than the Christian Crusaders understood Hashishan and his sect of the assassins in the 11th century? Hmm. Do uh, fundamentalist Islamists even understand the bare essentials of freedom? Yeah, like today. You know, life, liberty. Oh, let's pursue some happiness. <laughs>
Let's have fun in life. And what about freedom of expression? You get some guy draw a funny cartoon of Mohammed and you shoot him to death in his magazine office. Ever heard of freedom of expression? Women's rights? What's up with that? Well, let's talk about the Western warriors. Uh, drilled to kill. <laughs> and have faith in what? The bullshit Western illusion that in the name of defending national security and Jerusalem. Oh, yeah, let's, let's, let's move the American embassy to Jerusalem, store up more centuries-old prejudices. Yeah, keep it buzzing. Uh, that the West must control uh, the possession and flow of nuclear weapons away from Iran at all costs. There's many nuke all those Persians and they'll never at all costs. Like even killing millions of common people. You can even consider that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, keep the nuclear weapons away from the descendants of hashish. Mm -hmm. Alcohol, hashish, head on collision. Western civilization, Middle East, head on collision, causing millions. 500,000 Syrians killed recently in your lifetime within the last eight years causes yeah millions human deaths and more uh post-traumatic stress soul deaths what a horrific annual harvest of slaughter and we got What, Earthy? Lighten up a little bit? Uh, summarize quick, because we're going to a, a fabulous city in a moment. Summarize. Uh, the old man. Truly uh, original, as you can get. 11th century warlord. He would he'd either murder his political opponents or capture and recruit them. And nine centuries later, uh, beside the Bosphorus Straits, is still the grand cultural split between the alcohol heads and the hashish cannabis heads. Istanbul. Earthy, can you give me a GPS on Istanbul? Take the story to Istanbul. Okay, this is where the tea and the guide it's where they meet in Istanbul. It's like a big funnel, everything through Europe. It's got to like funnel through there. Um, yeah. Well, think of Istanbul as a gigantic Islamic gatehouse or an Ottoman gatehouse. In old Istanbul, yeah, the gatehouses were so large. I want you to think of this huge that had living quarters. You had hundreds of people living in the arches of the gate at different heights in the gate. I mean, you could drive hundreds of camels through there. No worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Private militia of assassins. Huh? Fanning out in a warrior hashish archipelago. From the eagle's nest. I'm being too cold. Make it more personal. Make it more upfront and personal. What happens when you step through the gatehouse of Istanbul? Mm hmm. 